I'm Amanda Powell with the investment news you need hot off the wire for Thursday, April 8th. Cellinx Group is helping connect millions of people with their friends and family. Emerging Markets Consulting just let us know about Cellinx's successful field test of the Five Bars Road Warrior. The company says they proved the Road Warrior boosts cell phone signals and does not interfere with any carrier's network. Cellinx intends to strongly market the device to approximately 30 million cell phone subscribers in more than 160 rural service areas. Cellinx trades on the bulletin boards as CYNX. ITOC Communications could bring the big bucks with its voice over internet protocol communication solutions. That's the word from Beacon Equity. Beacon says it recently launched a new mobile advertising feature that can be added to their network. Beacon also says the analysts predict advertisers will spend more than $11 billion worldwide on mobile advertising by 2011. Beacon also wants you to know the volume of iTalk shares is heavy during rallies and light during subsequent pullbacks. iTalk Communication Trades on the bulletin boards is IKTO. OTC Picks is expecting big news out of Orofino Gold. The gold exploration company is expected to release the results of its latest exploration efforts at its Colombian properties today. Previous tests found high concentrations of gold, silver, and copper. The company plans to drill its first gold prospect in the first quarter of 2010. Orofino Gold is moving on the pink sheets as ORGF. Standout Stocks is watching Elray Resources. The environmentally driven mining and exploration company caught their eye after securing a prime exploration property in southeastern Ecuador. The executive chairman of El Rey says the area has produced millions of ounces of gold and that the company continues to expect precious metals to exhibit strong performance over the next few years. El Rey is on the bulletin boards as ELRA. I'm Amanda Powell and we'll continue bringing you the latest small cap news all day long on publicwire.com.